statement, Glenn Chappelle's daughter describes her dad as a great, loving, and honest man. She says his deadly crash has left her family hurting and confused, and she also expressed condolences for the other victims' families. We do have some new video now uh, that appears to show uh, Chappelle's school bus just moments before that deadly accident happened. Shortly after 6.30 Tuesday morning, the video shows a car slowing down and then a school bus barreling down behind it. The car appears to be the Mustang hit by the school bus as it was pre preparing to turn. The car's driver did survive. Investigators say the bus kept going and more than 800 feet later slammed into an MTA bus heading in the opposite direction. Five people on the MTA bus, including the driver, died. School bus driver Glenn Chappelle was also killed. The state's Motor Vehicle Administration suspended Chappelle's authorization to create to operate rather a commercial vehicle two months ago for failure to provide medical certification. The state sent Chappelle two letters. One was mailed September 8th. Federal regulators require a driver's employer, in this case AA Affordable Transportation, to maintain the medical certificate. A lawyer for the transportation company says Chappelle's medical certificate kit was up to date and on file, but did not respond to my request for a copy. In a statement, Chappelle's daughter reiterated the claim that her father's paperwork was up to date, adding, quote, my father was authorized to drive. Otherwise, the company he worked for would not have let him drive, end quote. Sources tell the 11 News I team that investigators estimate that Chappelle's bus was going between 45 and 55 miles per hour at the point of impact. There are no skid marks, and right now investigators are awaiting autopsy re results to determine whether Chappelle suffered some sort of medical condition or emergency that rendered him unable to maintain control of that school bus. We're live tonight in southwest Baltimore. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.